Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of StudyRx. If you're new here, my name is Moses Pineda, creator of this fun channel StudyRx. Today I have another special video. The aim of this short video playlist is to brush up on small topics that we sometimes neglect because they're more simple than others. However, soon I, along with friends and colleagues, will become professionals in the medical field, so it's important to stay up to date with new information and even the very common material. Alright, so what makes this video special? Well, today I have another good friend of mine, Samir Murad. He's a P2 student at Larkin University going to P3 year. To me, he's been tremendously helpful whenever there are concepts that I don't understand. I've learned how he simplifies his notes and I've added a bit of his studying style to mine. That is why I didn't hesitate to challenge him on creating a short brief summary on type 2 diabetes mellitus. It was fun collaborating with him on this short video in such a short time span, so we hope you enjoy it. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Samir Murad, giving you another video on Study RX. Doing a quick video on metformin, a very common drug used in diabetes. So diabetes, a disease in which the glucose in your blood is simply just way too high, has cost our country over $320 billion. It has been estimated that individuals born after the year 2000 have a 1 in 3 chance of becoming a diabetic. That's crazy. With a frightening 30% of diabetics not even knowing that they have the disease. Chronic increase of blood glucose can lead to several complications, like having a stroke, heart attack, kidney damage, or even in extreme cases, having an arm or leg amputated. Understanding medications used for this disease is very crucial. Thus, I want to spend my time in this video talking about metformin, which is a very commonly prescribed medication for diabetes. Metformin is an insulin sensitizer. This just means it does not affect the actual secretion of insulin but it makes your cells more sensitive to insulin. It is very effective in type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is when you have a decreased number of insulin receptors or you're being insulin resistant. Metformin can also be used in certain type 1 diabetics as well. Type 1 diabetes is when the patient's pancreatic cells responsible for insulin secretion are damaged. Another mechanism for metformin is activating adenosine monophosphate kinase, AMPK which is also increased during exercise. So I guess you can say then, exercise is a non-pharmacologic alternative to metformin. By doing this, it will stimulate ATP production and decrease the glucose level in the blood. During the starting of treatment, it is common to experience GI side effects, such as cramps, bloating, and nausea or diarrhea. Metformin could also possibly lower your B12 levels, so supplementation may be considered. In rare cases, there has been occurrences of lactic acidosis. So based on your kidney function, metformin can be dosed accordingly. It is usually started at 500 milligrams daily for the first week. And if needed, you can increase by 500 milligrams every subsequent week after that. Metformin has a max daily dose of 2,500 milligrams a day. Alright guys, that concludes this video. Again, my name is Samir Murad here on StudyRx. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys want to hear more about diabetes or metformin or any other drug. Please let us know. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, like, and comment. Thank you guys.